the Metropolis Stadium, but I know the concert must be sold out. Now, whoever could that be? <sighs> hmm, that's strange. <laughs> <laughs> Why, eek the cat! You're just playing hide-and-seek with your love. Hi, Annabelle. I have a surprise for you for your birthday last year. Oh, eek, I just love surprises. Tickets to the Melvis the Cat concert in Metropolis Stadium? Let heaven and nature sing! My dreams have been fulfilled! I know how badly you wanted to go, Annabelle. They were the last two tickets left. And guess what? We can see Melvis before the concert at the Thanksgiving Day Parade riding the Stinky's Cat Food Blimp. Wanna go? Whoa! Oh, no, Ike. I have to get ready for the concert. <laughs> Leave me alone, man. <laughs> Melvis, let me heave. I mean, let me help you out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Much appreciated, Colonel Tom. <gasps> now give me a chili donut, man. Hey now, Melvis, maybe you should just take it easy on the chili donuts. You know, we have that big stinky cat food aid campaign coming up. Oh, what does it matter anymore, man? My career is over. My life is ruined. Por favor, Melvis. You gotta give it a little more time. Tomorrow, after you do the Thanksgiving Day Parade, we'll re-sign the stinkiest cake to the Oh, that's another thing, Colonel. Riding around in that silly blimp every Thanksgiving. It's degrading, man. Now, I realize that I do, and I'll bring that up at the board meeting. I will. They'll have to pay you more. Your career's gonna get a much-needed boost. Where? What career? All I've got to show for my years of hard work is a bunch of cheap, horrible movies that have bombed. I haven't had a hit record in 20 years, and people are starting to say I'm a, a has-been. Stud. What's that? Nothing, King, nothing. I've had it, man. I want out, Daddy-o. I want my fans to remember me the way I was. I'm gonna disappear. Disappear? Melvis, you... My mind's made up, Colonel. You can't do it, Melvis. The stink is contract. I mean, we'll get more this time. We'll get more. You make a comeback, I promise. Oh, why don't you hand that contract over to Wally the bagpipe playing weasel, Colonel? Ah, that's enough. That's enough. <laughs> Have you gone mad? It's a cat food, for goodness sake. No one wants a bagpipe playing weasel selling cat food. The stink is people on Melvis. Melvis the cat. Uh, after tomorrow, there won't be any more Melvis the Cat Man. I hear the music, but I don't see anything yet. Boy, I can't wait to see Melvis. I don't care what anybody says, I think he's bigger than ever. Of course he is. The guy eats ten pizzas a day. <laughs> Still a Melvis fan! Don't you know the guy's so fat they're trying to get him to work at SeaWorld? In the whale pool? <laughs> How easily people forget. Melvis started it all. There you go, King. Have a nice flight. Either this blimp is getting smaller every year, or Johnny Blubberbutt has been rock star is getting fatter. <laughs> Go ahead, laugh all you want, man. After today, you won't have the king to kick around anymore. I am the king. 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 I'm telling you, 
I'm telling you, Wally the Weasel could be a sensation. It's a, it's a, it's an edgy, an edgy, unique 90s approach to the whole thing. Wally, he's a weasel and a talented one at that. Maldus the Cat is the stinky spokesman, Colonel. You seem reluctant to resign him. Oh, no, 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 no. I, I just feel that a, a commercial star in Wally could give the Stinky's campaign a much-needed boost. <laughs> we know what you're up to, Colonel Pockmark. You do? Our research shows that Melvis the Cat is due for a major comeback. The comeback of the century, in fact. But, of course, you already knew that, you sly fox, you. <laughs> well, I, of course I knew that. But, uh, yeah, uh, hey, oh, how about, how about that Wally the Weasel? <laughs> Mr. Stinky! You look right, Mr. Stinky. What a Stinky. pleasure! Sit down! All right, Colonel Pockmark. Let's quit playing games, shall we? I realize we may have treated you and your client, Melvis, a little unfairly over the years, but that's going to change. Hmm? Melvis the cat is Stinky's cat food. I'm not gonna beat around the bush, Colonel. We want Melvis the Cat to re-sign the Stinky's contract, and we are prepared to pay you $50 million for that right. $50 million? Holy smokes, Melvis the Cat just blew up! <laughs> Death from above! Oh, my God, Melvis is in trouble! This is the worst catastrophe I've ever seen! The Stinky's Cat Food Blimp has burst into flames! Oh, this is terrible! Terrible! It's falling to the ground! I've never... Oh, it's terrible! I... Come on, Jack, change the card. Oh, uh, sorry, Clive. Oh, but humanity! Oh, terrible! I am looking. I am looking. Kumbaya, the king is broken into individual pieces! I got you, Elvis! I got you, Elvis! I... I got you, Elvis! <laughs> There's nothing left! We deeply regret the loss of Melvis, Colonel Pockmark. I'm afraid that since the king has blown into a million unidentifiable pieces, the deal is off. Well, uh, maybe, 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 maybe he survived. I, I mean, I mean, Melvis is a real a survivor. Nothing could have survived that explosion, Colonel. Nothing! Yeah, well, I, 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 I guess you're right, but... but... <laughs> it's a miracle! He's alive! Melvis is alive! Long live the king! Oh! Oh, this is astonishing, people! It's like the rebirth of Melvis the Cat! A second start in life! Long live the king! He's right! Look at this! The crowd actually seems to care about Melvis again! The press will have a heyday with this! Our offer stands, Colonel. In fact, we'll double it. It's a deal, gentlemen. Would you like paper or plastic? <laughs> yeah, but I... No, you'll excuse me. I, I must take the king back to Placeland to recover. Oh, finally, I found my place in the sun. A place where I can just be me. A place of my own where no one will recognize me and try to tear the sweat-stained handkerchief from my paw. No fans for thousands of miles. <laughs> just that big white doggy over there. <laughs> Huh? Kumbaya! What the heck happened? Why is my hair in a greasy wave the size of the one in the title sequence of Hawaii Five-O? So you're awake? How do you feel? Fine, except I can't remember who I am. Well, I'll tell you who you are. You're a hero, man. I am? You saved Melvis the Cat's life. I did. I seem to remember Melvis's blimp exploding and then a lamppost. That is correct. You pulled Melvis from the wreckage and then hit that lamppost. Well, gee, where is Melvis? Is he gonna be okay? Well, son, thanks to you, he'll be just fine after he uh, recuperates. You see, he was hurt pretty badly. So badly, in fact, that, well, he needs your help. My help? Melvis asked me to ask you if you would mind standing in for him while, while his bits are sewn back together. You bear a striking resemblance to the king, and, well, it would really help him out. Me? Help the king? Sure, it never hurts to help. Great, great. It'll be, well, our little secret. Melvis would hate to worry his fans. All right, the first thing we have to do is familiarize you with every detail of the King's career. See, I'm already pretty familiar with the life of Melvis and his incredible skyrocket to fame. Yes, yes, but by the time I am done with you, you will move, breathe, talk, walk, sing, sleep, think, stink, overeat, and wink like Melvis the cat. 
You can count on me, Colonel. I'll do my very best. Gosh, what a treat. I get to watch every Melvis movie ever made. I don't want to be just another Joe working in the pit stops, Sue Ellen. I'm going to risk it all and be a driver. Oh, Melvis. We're going to win that race. We're going to take first place. I'm going to win for my mama because she gave me this face. I don't want to be another schmo sweeping up the hangar, Betty Sue. I'm going to risk it all and become an astronaut. Oh, Melvis. We're going to go in space. I got to see that place. I said the dial for Mars because we got to make haste. I don't want to be just another stiff walking around an amusement park in a stuffed badger costume, Lou Alcinder. I'm going to risk it all and go for that parking lot attendant gig. Oh, Melvis. I'm going to park those cars. I got to reach for the stars. You got my head spinning round like a frog in a blender. We're going to pull those claws. We don't have time to pause. We're going to scale the mermaid and party with John. Oh, there must be those clowns from Stinky's Cat Food. This is it. Okay, uh, Melvis, Melvis. They're here to take us to the studio to film the new commercial. <laughs> the local watering hole. And it doesn't look like anyone here recognizes me. <laughs> uh, pardon me there, crocodile. I, I wonder if I can get something warm to drink. You are an annoying and obese man. I will get to you when I have the time. <laughs> That little fella treated me as rudely as he'd treat any cat. Okay, sorry that the elk report was like a little long today, eh? But so like, don't anybody go out? Cause we've now returned to tonight's movie already in progress, Clam Bay Calamity, starring Melvis the Cat, eh? Turn the channel. I hate this fat jiggle butt has been with a pompous greasy air too. That guy's a loser. He's funny. I know. September, eh? Ooh, ooh, uh, what is the antler molting season for the North Arctic elk? Uh, what is the antler molting season for the North Arctic elk? Think his cat foot's real neat, it's what we kitties like to eat. Shubop, shubop, shubop. Use your paws or use your feet to stuff your mouth with fish and meat. So give your cat a special treat. Stinky's, Stinky's, it's so sweet. Stinky's cat food can't be beat. Just what the heck is going on here, Colonel? Well, it's just a, uh, uh... If this is your idea of some kind of twisted joke... <laughs> if so, it's in very poor taste. You're right, it's terrible. I love it. It's terrible that, that you people can't see real talent when it's right under your nose. That's right, Colonel. Melvis the Cat is the chameleon of pop music. And I'm proud, darn proud, to have him represent Stinky's cat food. What a visionary Melvis is. He's such an innovator. Always changing, always growing. <sighs> this will be our greatest ad campaign ever. Hear, hear. Not a bad deal, this fame thing, eh, Eek? Not to be Mr. Big Hurry, Colonel, but when is Melvis the cat gonna get better? Uh, well, I, I I just got a call from the hospital, and, well, he choked on a, a piece of pudding and, and damaged his throat. Uh, he'll have to remain in the hospital just a little itty-bitty bit longer. Gee, how much longer? Oh, just maybe uh, another six years or so. 
Six years? Gee, I hope he's gonna be okay. He's so much better at this than I am. Oh, you'll get used to it. You'll probably really get to like being mauled by crowds of out-of-control fans. The backstabbing, the fair with the friends, the sycophants who just want a piece of the action. But I miss my family and my girlfriend, Annabelle. Well, gee, she's really fat. Really? Never mind that. Who needs one girlfriend? You are loved by millions. Yeah, but I don't even know these people. And besides, they only like me because they think I'm someone else. I miss my family and friends. They love me for me. Love? Friends? What do you need that for? You've got islands full of misguided, shallow women. Money and fame and boats and houses and... Well, maybe that's enough for some people, Colonel Pockmark, but not for me. If it's okay with you, I'd sure like to go home now. All right, all right. Look, please, Ike. Just do the Metropolis Stadium concert, that's all I ask. Then we're through. Mel, Mr. Kid goes on vacation. Please, Ike, please. It means so much to me, all this. He's always giving, giving. This is a chance for us to give back to him. Metropolis Stadium, kumbaya! I just remembered! I was gonna take Annabelle to the Melvis concert at Metropolis Stadium. I got her tickets for her birthday. They're way up in the lodge behind the pole, but they're a swell deal. I implore you, Ika, I, I speak for me on this. It is very important that you not tell anyone about this charade. Even Annabelle. It could ruin the king! Well, I'll do my best for Melvis. So Sparky fell through the ice, and since he was the last dog in line, no one noticed. I tell you so, we're dragging Sparky in this block of ice, and no one noticed. And I'm saying to the wife, you know, like, where's Sparky's distinctive barking? And then we, like, notice he's, like, in, in a big ice cube, eh? <sighs> Think his cat puts real neat, it's what we kid, he's like to eat. Shubop, 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 shubop. Use your paws or use your feet. Hey, man, turn the channel. I, I can't stand watching this tone-deaf phony. Shubop, shubop, stuff your face with fish and meat. The king! I have always loved him. He's such an innovator. I love his new sound, eh? Are you ice cube heads nuts? That's not Melvis. I'm Melvis, you fools. <laughs> sure you are, pal. And like, I'm Elky Summer, eh? That's it. I'm getting out of here. I miss the mobs, the fame, the islands full of misguided shallow women. Melvis is a coming home. <sighs> For you, this fame thing sure is a lot of hard work. It sure is, kid. This kind of life's not for the meek. That's eek, sir. Whatever. I owe you a debt of gratitude, son. If I can ever return the favor, let me know, man. Well, actually, if you really don't mind, I wonder if I could ask for one small favor, Melvis. Just name it, man. Hi, Annabelle. Oh, hey. I was afraid you were held up. Now, shush. The king is just about to take the stage. song to a very dear friend, a cool cat with a big heart, my friend Eek the Cat. Oh, hey, you're such a hey man. You're friends with Memphis. We're going to dance in slush, give a sled dog mush. We're going to head up to the yard again, a polar bear rush. We're going south, all the way south, baby. That's the coolest. 